video we'll be doing, I want to say the name of the Omp Amp, just now this with the Omp Amp. We've done the summing, the subdirecting, the differentiating, the integrating, one with capacitors, one with resistors, and a lot we've done, you can check our playlist on electrotechnics or um, tutorials. So, this one won't say the name, I just wanted to comment it just on the comment section if you know the name of the configuration that we have here. So, I think uh, what is worth knowing is that on the inductor V in, in the inductor is going to equal us from, I think it was L, D, I, O over, I think I should have DT here. So I'm interested, I'm interested in current, so I'll just voltage DT is equal to L, D, I, then I can integrate both sides. And if I do, here I will get L, I, or just, just, let me just say I, and then I put 1 over L this side and integral of VDT. So now you know that voltage is a function of time in a way. Okay, so that we have, this is the current that is in here. So there's no current going in here. Okay, cool. Current going in here will be V in minus V minus O over R is equal to current in. Remember that V minus is equal to V plus is equal to zero offset a thousand times. And then from here, you'll have V in over R is equal to current in. Now, current in so it equals to current out. So now I have one last part of the equation. These two, and if I equate them, I'll have V in over R should equal to 1 over L integral of V T T. And what is my interest again is V out. I think this is V out because, yes, it's V out. The only voltage that is there. And that is V out. So... What did I miss? I don't think I missed anything. I just, uh, I just have to differentiate both sides. Just like doing, I know in math they don't like me doing this, but I love to do it anyway. So now I'll have one all over R dv in. Oh, this is supposed to be one. One all over R dv over dt. And then this L, this L will go this side, which is to be here. This has to be at. So, if I didn't make any mistake, this should be our solution. Because I took this to this side, then I did both sides. No, this is it. So, the only reason that I was surprised, because I was expecting, in my head I was doing the other one of which is, an inductor here, I think, and then, and then here, the resistor here, and then if we out here, it's going in the negative side, then a ground here, L, R, V, not V1. So let me do this one very quickly, so this one, you're actually getting two videos on one video, so it'll be quite longer. Okay, so current going in, I mean, we said, um, V in should equals to some inductor, um, inductor, I mean, and then that will be my dv. Mm. How did I just, I just wrote this thing now. Oh yeah, it's decurrent. Mm. D current over DT. 
then I'm interested uh, in current, then I'll finish it full side. I'll have um current is fine. This L is on top, it should be on the bottom. And then I'll have integral of V in DT, which I won't bother solving because I don't know the the the, the function of the function of current I mean voltage supplied. And then now I can say, look at the voltage in here, voltage from here to here, it should be V is minus, 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 V naught all over R, which will cause the current going out. And then we also know this one is zero, because of virtual grounding. I've been saying it on side again, and then now negative V naught all over R should equals to whatever is here one over L integral of V in dt and then this is negative obviously V out this V out is going to equals to negative R all over L integral of V in dt so this is it so please comment if there is something that you don't really understand so I think I tried to make everything easy if yeah if possible so thank you don't forget to share with your classmates and remember this question is just test type of questions so take notes in them you might also see them in the test so you might say just find v naught also on the comment section don't forget to tell us what is the name of this configuration this one i call this one b and i call this one a thank you